Hi, my name is Sydney Fox, and I was diagnosed with stage four fallopian tube cancer in July 2014, so I'm almost a two-year survivor. I went through the standard surgery. I had IP and the regular chemo. Um, I qualified for a clinical trial at NIH because I had four nodules that showed up um, after I was done with chemo. And I went through this vaccine trial at NIH and now I am cancer free. I just want to let everybody know that I didn't have any of the normal symptoms for ovarian cancer. I didn't have the abdominal um, swelling or bloating or the frequency of um, urination or anything like that. But I did have a pain under my rib cage, and that ended up being a tumor that was on my diaphragm between my liver. And so I just want to let everybody know, if you have any kind of an unusual symptom that lasts for more than a week or so, you should get it checked out. I won't say I ignored that symptom, but I just didn't think it could be anything more than just the kind of a pain that you would get from a stitch while running. So I'm glad to be here today to raise awareness for ovarian cancer and especially to raise money for treatment for ovarian cancer so that we can continue to survive forever and ever. Thank you. My name is Sue Nitzgorski and this is my twin sister, identical twin sister, Joyce. And we're here today to do the 2016 ovarian cancer walk. I teach tennis in the summer. I'm a school teacher during the school year. And during the summer in August, I went back to my doctor and said I was really short of breath and I didn't think it was pneumonia or asthma from allergy or anything. And when I went to the doctor and had a chest x-ray, I had a liter and a half of fluid in my right pleural cavity. I had that drained. I had a CAT scan and they found a mass on my right ovary. So I had surgery in 2013 and then in September of 2014, I tried to go back to school and, you know, do my seventh grade science teacher thing, and I was diagnosed with a tumor that had come, reoccurred on my diaphragm, so I did another year of chemo, but I did really good, had a PET scan, it was clean, and then I went back this September to teach and went all the way to January, and I'm on my third round of chemo. God bless the doctors and the nurses and family and friends um, and all the beautiful people that help us get up and to fight every single day you know just hang in there don't be afraid to go to the doctor uh, my friend took me to NIH I qualified for um, a couple clinical trials there if I should need it so thank you for your support thank you for supporting the people that you love appreciate it love you